Nick, sit down. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we have a systems of equations. Uh, 1 half x plus 1 third y equals 7. And 1 fifth x minus 2 thirds y equals negative 2. Now again, when we're looking into applying this algebraically, we, a lot of times we're looking at applying eliminate or substitution if we have a coefficient of any of our variables equal to 1, which in this case we do not. right? So the next thing we want to look at is using elimination. And elimination basically is just adding or subtracting our two equations. And if we add or subtract these two equations, we want to be able to get a coefficient of 0. So if I add or subtract 1 half x plus or minus or 1 fifth x, am I going to get 0x? Does 1 half plus 1 fifth give you 0? Is 1 half minus 1 fifth give you 0? No. What about 1 thirds and 2 thirds? Is 1 third plus 1 negative 2 thirds going to give you 0? No. So they're not going to give us 0. So the next thing that I would recommend to do is get rid of your fractions. So to get rid of my fractions, Nope. I want to get rid of. Why are these? The reason why these are decimals is because 2 does not evenly go into 1. So you want to multiply it. So you want to get the numerator into a number that is evenly divisible by 2. Well, you also need to get into a number that is evenly divisible by 3. So what is the smallest number that 2 and 3 are divisible by? 6. So I'm going to multiply everything by 6. Now, same thing over here. We need to find a number that 5 is divisible into and 3 is divisible into. And that smallest number is? Then we apply the distributive property. You have to do all three? Yep, you have to do all three. So 6 times 1 half x is going to be 3x. 6 times 1 third y is going to be uh, 2y. 6 times 7 is equal to 42. Follow me? Then I do this one. 15 times 1 fifth x is going to be 3x. 15 times negative 2 thirds, just multiply over. 15 times negative 2 is negative 30. 1 times 3 is 3, so negative 30 divided by 3 is negative 10. Follow me? Or you want me to show that? OK. 15 times negative 2 is equal to negative 30. Now, you can see now. Not if I add them, but if I subtract these two equations, now I have them 0, right? Which is cool. However, I don't really like subtracting, and I don't think you, are, you would too. So rather than multiplying by 15, what, happened, what would happen if we multiply by negative 15? Then that would be negative, that would be positive, and that would be positive, right? I think I would prefer adding negative numbers than subtracting. I think it's just easier for students. So let's look at what we have. 3x plus a negative 3x is 0x. Now that got eliminated. 2y plus 10y is 12y. And 42 plus 30 is going to be 72. Now I can solve for y. And that's going to be 6. OK, so now I know the value of 6. And then to plug that in, you could plug it into one of these equations if you like. Um, or you could plug it in one of these, which you probably would prefer, right? No fractions. So we know y is equal to um, y, y is equal to 6. Let's plug it in this one. 3x plus 2 times 6 equals 42. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract 12. 3x equals 30. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. x equals 10. Done. Okay. Now, 